Okay. This is take three. You don't know it, but this is take three. So we're going to do this fast, because I like to talk a lot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Hudeberg, and I just wanted to come in and tell you that I have updated the syllabus. So if you downloaded the syllabus before today, June 2nd, you'll need to go in and get the new one. Not much has changed, really it's just dates that have changed. So if you want to make sure you've got 2015 dates and not 2014 dates, you need to get the new syllabus. Um, I've also changed some of the due dates on the project because I noticed that I had gotten a week ahead of myself, so that I had things due a week earlier than they should have been. Hooray! All right. And then I wanted to say hi, and so you can see me and know that, yes, I am a real person, and I am here, and I am going to answer your questions, any and all of your questions, whenever you have them. Okay? So that's the big thing, is in an online course, it's easy to sit at your computer and think you're sitting there all alone by yourself, and I don't know what it is the teacher wants me to do. I just don't quite understand. Okay, so you got to ask, all right? Just like you would if we were in class. If I would pass out guidelines for a project, and you and we would kind of go through them, and you would read through it, and as I was talking about what you were going to do, I would probably answer some questions along the way, but we don't quite get that luxury here in the uh, virtual world. So as you're reading through, you're like, oh, hmm, I wonder what she means by that, or I need to clarify this. You could raise your hand, Mrs. Hudeberg, or um, what do you mean by this and this, and I could explain that, all right? So the way to do that in our online course is for you to send me a question. Don't phrase your questions at the beginning with, I'm sorry to bother you, because you're not bothering me, okay? You wouldn't do that in class. I'm sorry to bother you with this. No. You say, I don't understand this and this and this. Can you clarify? That's cool. I'm good with that. Okay. Another thing is, if we had a class on campus and you were given an assignment and you saw a due date and you realized, oh my goodness, I have something going on and I, that's one class I'm not going to be able to make it to, I need to talk with my professor about either turning it in early or being able to turn it in a couple of days later. Okay, so you would take that up, that responsibility and you'd work that out after class or whatever you come to the professor, right? Yes, that's what you do. Same thing happens here because in class, if you didn't do that with your professor and you came back the next week and said, well, you know, I, I wasn't in class last week, but will you still take my assignment? They'd probably be like, sorry. Okay, syllabus says no late work. Sorry, not going to happen. All right, same thing here. So if as you're reading through assignments and you say, oh, I've got such and such, and I'm not going to be here that day, or like a fair, or I'm going to be a, a camp counselor, or we've got a, a vacation that we've had scheduled for a year, whatever kind of thing. You've got something going on, and you're not going to be here for that date. I need to talk to Professor Huderberg and say, hey, I'm going to be gone. Is there any way I can have another couple of days, or is it okay if I turn this in early? And we'll work that out. You and me, no problem, okay? I'm flexible, but you got to ask. And you got to do it before you leave. Now, I also understand that sometimes you get sick. Last summer, I got kidney stones in the middle of the summer. So there was about three days there where I was absent from online world, and I had to come back and say, hey, you guys, I'm sorry. I haven't been answering messages and stuff. Here's what was going on with me. All right, that happens too. So just know that you can say, I am, you know, here's what happened to me last week, why you didn't get this. And I'm going to take you at your word that you're honest because we're all adults here. We all respect each other, treat you like I want to be treated, that kind of thing. Um, and we'll work that out too, okay? But if you do know you're going to be gone, communicate. That's the biggest key in a, an online class is to communicate with me and with each other. Okay, so along with that, you are going to be working together in teams, and I want you to be responsible members of your teams, and it's, on, it's, for, it's for communication and discussion. You're not actually going to do a group project in this course, all right? But you've got to, um, there are guidelines for being part of a blog discussion group. And that would be kind of like if we were in class together and I'd put you in a small groups and say, here, here's your question. Talk about this question among your group. Okay, so it's to reflect on, um, to even build your knowledge and to think critically about what we're doing in class. Be a active be an active member of your group, all right? I would love to be able to leave this course and have instilled in every single one of you the value of being an active member of your group. Now, that 
that might mean that you come and you look into, at the people who are in your group and you go look at their five things and kind of get to know them a little bit. Hey, how are you and all that? And then you come back and you say, hey, during the week that we have this blog reflection due, and it, it can be a message just to the people in your, in your group. During this week, I have fair and I have this and this going on. I'm not going to be able to answer and look at any of your blog reflections probably until Saturday night. So don't think I'm ignoring you. Okay? I want to, I want to, you know, I want, I want to talk about the topic and all that. But I'm not going to be able to do my blog or reply to you guys until whatever day. But I'll be there. Okay? And then if you don't end up showing up, somebody else in your team, feel free to go in and say, hey, we noticed that you didn't make it. I hope everything's okay. Don't forget to do that. So work together. Be each other's um, buddies, partners. Just encourage each other. Your summer is difficult. And again, the key is communication. I want you to leave this class knowing that if you communicate with the people that you're working with, the teacher, your group members, even other classmates, um, you're going to get a much richer experience out of this degree. And then when we get to the point in other classes where you are actually doing group projects, because we do do those, you'll understand the value in that communication. Because as a group member, if I had somebody in my group that said, hey, here's what's going on with me. I'm not going to be able to do my part of this until such and such date. Um, say it was assigned on a Monday, and I can't get to it until Thursday. I'm sorry, there's just no way this week that I can do that. We all have lives. We all understand that, okay? If you communicate that with the people in your group, then you're not going to have the, somebody who, who does things early, and there's nothing wrong with that, who can get to it, and they do it, and they get it done, and they're not sitting there thinking, where is everybody? Where is, this is going to drive, I'm just going to do it all myself. No. Hopefully we can, can keep that, nip that in the bud, keep that from happening. But the key, the critical key is to communicate with each other, Okay? So please, please, please keep that in mind. Do that one piece for me, and I think you'll find out that the whole thing goes so much better. Okay? So that's my one big piece of advice. Communicate, communicate, communicate. You got something coming up for an assignment deadline? Tell me. You got something coming up that's going to keep you from communicating with your, your discussion group as you should? Let them know. Okay? And vice versa, let each other know. Um, if somebody says they're going to be there on Thursday, that their posts are going to show up and they're not there, send them a message and say, hey, I noticed you didn't make it. What happened? Be nice. Be respectful. Remember, golden rule, treat others like you want to be treated, or maybe even better than you want to be treated. And you'll find that whew, things go great, okay? So that's my preaching. That's my sermon for today. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> um and there are, and I'm going to have to cut it short here because I'm going to get cut off again. If you have questions, let me know. Don't hesitate. And I will talk to you again in future modules. And feel free to jump in and get started.